Making a good YouTube video goes to waste if you don't have a great thumbnail to go with it because people aren't going to click on your videos. And if you wanna increase the click-through rate of your videos, you wanna make great, clean, and clickable thumbnails. And in this video, I'll share three of my favorite thumbnail maker apps. And the first one being the easiest free way to do it, and that is with Instagram. Yes, you can use Instagram stories to create your thumbnail, and let me show you how. We're just gonna hop into the story uh, side of things. Here you go, there's my camera, there's my light. And I'm just gonna add the photo I want to uh, make my thumbnail, and it's this crazy photo of me with all these cameras. And I'm just gonna do like a camera sale kind of thing. So I'm just, you know, pinching and zooming to be able to get this, uh, just right, so there we go. And then you can actually go onto Google and uh, download if you need a PNG or something, like a transparent image. So I got this sale image, and if you just hold down and save image, it'll save, and uh, this wouldn't work if it had like, you know, a background or what have you, but you just wanna make sure it has a transparent background. Then I just swipe up and then scroll until I see kind of like my photo app thing, and then right there you could see is the sale. And so I'm just gonna, just make that kind of visible right there. And then I'll add some text. And then I know I'm just, just for the sake of speed, that would be a lot more detailed. But once you have your thumbnail made, you can just hit the three dots on the top and hit save. And then your, your camera uh, roll now has your thumbnail that you can upload to your YouTube video. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Takori with Think Media. And the second free and easy thumbnail maker is Canva. A lot of people know about Canva, but it is an incredible software and you can do so much with the free option. And what's cool is that they actually have a lot of templates for YouTube thumbnails. Just go to the search bar and type in YouTube and then you can click on YouTube thumbnails. And then as you can see, all these uh, various different options that you can use to get started with. Now, I would encourage you to use these as a foundation to your thumbnails. You really wanna make it a custom thumbnail. You really want it to be yours, right? But all that to say, there's a lot to choose from. And if you have the pro plan, then you can get access to a lot of other things. But I'm just gonna create a quick thumbnail from scratch. So I'm gonna click on create a blank YouTube thumbnail. Now I'm just gonna upload a picture from my computer that I'm gonna use. And I believe it's gonna be this photo. Boom. So then now I could just drag it on, click and drag, and get it to fill the screen. And if you actually wanna see how we film or how I make thumbnails like this, you can uh, check out a link down in the description. I'll be sure to post it. We've made, we have a ton of thumbnail tutorials on our channel. And if you aren't subscribed, be sure to subscribe. And then we're just gonna add some text. So I'm just gonna go to the text icon, hit add heading, and then I'll just say uh, 10 tips. And then we'll uh, make this white. So we'll click here, make this white. And I like, we like uh, have a very distinct font here at Think Media. That's Helvetica New. Then just click and drag. So that's cool. I probably want like a drop shadow. So I'm gonna hit effects, add a little drop shadow. So it kind of pops, increase the intensity. And then let me just get like a YouTube logo. So if you go to uh, elements and let's, we could type in YouTube logo, as you can see, and then literally you can just click and drag the thumbnail. So I'm just gonna resize it, 10 tips, and I'll just maybe add a drop shadow on the actual um, thing itself, drop shadow. So it pops a little bit. And so really in minutes, you can get a thumbnail going in Canva, really being one of the best options out there for a free and easy thumbnail maker. Um, obviously, I'm just going quick so that you know, I'm very simple, but you do want your thumbnails to be fairly simple, generally speaking. We don't like to exceed more than three things in a thumbnail, whether that be text or a product or a face or a graphic or what have you. We don't wanna exceed three things. It's just kind of a good rule of thumb to live by. And we actually go really in depth on how to level up your YouTube channel at our free one hour YouTube masterclass that you could check out at thinkmasterclass.com. You'll learn how you can use YouTube as a part-time or even full-time income and join over 10,000 people in our community that have all decided to go in on YouTube 
but that can be found at our free one hour class at thinkmasterclass.com. I'll post a link to it down in the description below if you wanna check that out. And the next free and easy thumbnail maker is going to be Adobe Express. I didn't even know that they actually offered this, but this is a web-based kind of graphic design software they have that's so easy to use, very similar to Canva. And I kind of like it a little bit more as there's some features that Adobe Express offers that Canva offers with a paid version. So with Adobe Express, all you need is literally a uh, an account to use it. And they do have a paid version, but you can literally do so much with the free version. And let's just make another thumbnail using this app. We're gonna hit the plus icon here. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, you know templates and I'm just gonna hit custom gra size graphic, go to popular and they have YouTube thumbnail ready to go. So I'm just gonna click that and hit next. And I really love the interface of this uh, software or application, I guess you could say. But similarly, I'm just gonna add a photo that I have on my computer to work with. And so this is a photo I took for a podcast thumbnail. And uh, dude, that yellow piece of paper literally is like a 60 cent piece of paper from like the dollar store. Super clutch, but uh, I don't, I, I can't uh, use the whole thing as you see the paper cuts off, but this is what I love about this um, app. So I'm actually gonna create a yellow background and then delete the background behind me. So I'm gonna go to backgrounds right here, hit edit background, and then choose a solid color. I'm just gonna click this ink tool and then click the yellow uh, on the photo. I think that's pretty solid. Um, so I got that yellow. And then I'm gonna click on my photo and actually remove my background. So I'm gonna hit right here, it says remove background, which is a paid uh, feature in Canva, but this Adobe uh, Express has it just like that. I'm gonna hit check, and now you can see, now I'm just met with the background and my face, which is super sweet and clean. And I'm just gonna add some text right here. Uh, I think I'll just do like, I'll just do something like, podcast basics, maybe make it black so it's more legible, and then grow it, scale it, sweet, super clean. Like, this is literally taking literally minutes to do. I got uh, a couple icons that I wanted to drag in here. So we got the Apple podcast logo, then I'm just gonna, and I, I also like how like the the interface is as far as like clicking and dragging and resizing. Uh, Canva, I guess you can get a, a little finicky and clicky, I guess you could say. Uh, but we'll put this one there. This is SoundCloud. Nice little hack if you ever uh, have, you know, applications that you can use their logos in your thumbnails, it'll, communicate to people because they recognize those logos. And I need to remove the background of this one as these are the only PNG or transparent logos I have. So I'm just gonna click on this, hit remove background, and literally it's so easy. Boom, it's done. Hit check, and there you have it. You got the thumbnail done. You can just download it to your uh, computer and you're good to go. And what I love about this in particular is it actually saves all your work under your account so you can reference old thumbnails and things like that. Canva can do that too. But such a cool free and easy app to make thumbnails with. Check it out, Adobe Express, and I think you can start crushing your thumbnails today. And if you wanna check out another video on how to make your thumbnails even better, stand out so that you can get more clicks, then click or tap the screen. And I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.